good are the Buckeyes? Uh, you know, on paper, how does this team look? Is it um, is it bigger to be what you would expect from Ohio State, or or how do they look? I think I'll confidently put money on. I'm not going to actually do this. I don't gamble, but I would put money on. They're going to be the best team in the Big Ten by far. Everything outside of that is up in there. I think they could be right back in the mix and be playing for a national championship again. Obviously, obviously that depends on how that quarterback develops over the next nine months until August gets here. And it also depends on can they replace some of these guys on defense, whether it's Tommy Togia or the three starting linebackers who have been the linebackers at Ohio State since I was two years old, basically, it feels like. And then obviously Sean Wade wasn't the best cornerback in the world, but he was still a quality cornerback and you have to replace him. So can they reload in the secondary at the linebacker position? And I think this offense will be fine. I think this is a team that should be right back in the thick of things and be in the college football playoff next year. Who are some names to listen out for on that de defensive side of the ball that you think could show? Yeah, it starts at the defensive line with Tyreek Smith and Zach Harrison. Both of those guys have been rotational guys the last two years. Both of those guys, top 50 recruits coming out of high school. It's time for Tyreek Smith especially. This is his fourth year in the program. It's time for him to maybe step up and kind of fill that role of what the Bosa brothers and Tyreek and Chase Young were. Not saying he's going to be – what those guys were because that was ridiculous, but they, they need to be in the scrimmage field. Somebody needs to have at least seven sacks next season. And that the linebacker, it's Court Williams missed this entire year with a torn ACL, but I think he's a guy who steps into a role and probably shines in that role. But of course you've got Taraja Mitchell and Kayvon Pope and Dallas Gantt guys who have been waiting their turn at the linebacker spot to finally get an opportunity. I think you see those guys maybe flash and show some things. And then the secondary, Josh Proctor, I thought he would be the starting single high safety this past year. That didn't happen until late in the season, but he did have some moments where he caused some turnovers and probably could have had more interceptions had he been able to catch the ball. I think that's a guy who might pop and be a Blake Hooker's type situation where he has four or five or six interceptions next year because he's that type of playmaker.